in this exercise first we'll be opening the database and then we'll be initializing each one of the statement with the respective query string so i'll say if sqlite 3 open now sqlite 3 open takes two parameters it says file name now file name will be in form of your c string now the writable db path which you have is in a swift string so we have to convert your swift string into a c string because your sqlite library is inside the c string so converting a swift string to the c string is a bit uh, complicated so but converting an n string to the swift string is pretty simple so what will i do i'll say a writable db path as n string i can use the free bridging between the objective c and the swift and i'll call utf8 string now utf8 string converts your n string into your c string now here you have to say pointer double pointer means you want to pass the address of your database okay which is ampersand database okay if this method equal to equal to sqlite okay then your database has opened now why we pass double pointer wait why this error is coming uh, is an issue with my code writable db path as an string dot utf8 string so let me check let me go to the sample code and check where the issue is happening uh, here okay the issue is that optional value is not being used so sorry so I have to use the optional value and it's done now here I have to initialize so first why we are using double pointer now see whenever why we use double pointer it basically double pointer means address of a pointer suppose I stay in my house I have my key of my house in my neighbor's house if someone has a key of my neighbor house, he can still access my house. That's called double pointer. Now issue comes when to use that. A function can return only one return type. So this SQLite 3 open returns an integer value because SQLite OK is a hash defined. Okay. Now it also can initialize the database reference, which is of type CA, C opaque pointer because it's the, the reference for your database. So whenever a function needs to return two types of values, one value act as a return type but the second value we always pass that value as a double pointer to the function so if that function initialize that value you the calling class can get the reference of that value so so this sqlite 3 open will return an integer value but can also will also initialize the database that's why we pass database reference as a double pointer and integer is taken as a return type so sqlite 3 open returns you two types of object one is a c opaque pointer which is a sqlite 3 database and second is integer value so whenever you have a scenario where you want your function to return two different types of values one needs to be as a return type the second one should be passed as a double pointer in next exercise we'll be initializing this statement and we'll see the use of double pointer more in detail